Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's book tutorial episode, we are going to paint a tutorial from this book. So this book is very different because it has actual like watercolor paper or painting paper as one of the pages and the instructions go on this side and then you paint on this side. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this book is called In the Jungle by Dana Fox. She has multiple books in the same kind of format. So this is a paint with me kind of book. Again, she goes through kind of a little bit of color theory, brushes and whatnot. And then the technique and example on how to do the technique. I believe I painted the bottom part of this one or I started to and then I got distracted. And I kind of want to do this one where it's a hibiscus. It's only three colors and it looks great. She already has a little bit of a sketch on it and then you can do like a little background or something. So let's see how this goes. This should literally take like five minutes. So I have my cadmium yellow, I have my indigo and I have, um, she does call for a permanent rose, but I'm going to use my opera pink which is fine. So she goes, and of course I have my water and my, my brush. I'm only using one brush. Um, all right. So filling one of the single petals using clean water while the paper is still damp. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of the petals. You literally just have to follow the outline. This is a very, very like beginner friendly book. I mean, they, they all are. Um, but this one having the, the sketch already in it, it's just really kind of something nice to do. So I'm going to do a little bit of permanent rose in the middle, allow it to blend towards the top. I mean, unless you like tilt the paper, it's not going to blend all on its own. So we're just going to tilt the book a little bit and allow it to blend a little bit at the top. It's not going to blend all on its own. Oof, I went over the line a little bit. That's OK. All right. So still, while the paint is still wet, drop gumbush hue into the top edge of the petal. Oh, OK. So like the yellow. So I don't know what this color gumbush hue, but let's add yellow. I think yellow is a great color, cadmium yellow. So using the same brush, I just cleaned it and great. So we're going to do that. Using the tip of the brush to carefully shape the outside edge until it's crisp. Yeah, we got that. With the wipe the color off your brush and use the tip to blend and coat the two colors together. OK, so I clean my brush down like um, use cloth and then I'm just going to mix the two together and it looks great all right kind of going over to the other petal that's okay until they meet in the center repeat this process for each petal letting them dry before moving on to the next okay so we're gonna do this one so we're gonna do every other one so, okay so first clean water Then the pink, kind of right here. Great. I'm going to clean my brush. Oh, sorry. Then the yellow.
give you guys a better angle. I feel like I'm, I missed the whole little piece right here. <laughs> I just, it was confusing. <laughs> I'll get to it when, when this one's dry right here. Okay. Okay, this is this this was a little confusing. This little part. I don't know what's going on. No. Paint the center a stark of the stamen with, uh, with permanent rose and the top portion with gum hue. Let it dry completely. All right, so we're gonna do the stem with the pink with a very, I guess, a very high intensity pink. So I'm just using a lot of the pink and very little water. So I'm, I'm like drying my brush and using just a very high intensity, like just a high value pink. And it says to do this and then the top one with the yellow. So I'm just gonna I'm assuming the detail is gonna come in later, so. Okay. Now using the indigo, paint the center of the flower and around the stem and to create the shadow effect. So I feel like I'm gonna need some white or something for this area. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my indigo now. Kind of carefully go around. I'm gonna clean too much. I just clean it and then I'm gonna just kind of st uh, st staple a little bit to create this 
shadow effect. So basically this is in the center of the flower and I'm going to use a little bit of like very high intensity indigo and I'm going to just dab a little bit here and there to give it like a shadow effect. I think that's what she means. Well, you know, it looks cute. So now really what we have to do is let it dry completely and then we're going to go in with the same colors. We're going to use the same or um, yellow and the same pink, and we're gonna go and like do these details. Okay, so now that I can see that it is primarily dry, I'm going to add the details. So I am just going to add a little bit of pink, like high intensity pink, and I'm gonna just very lightly kind of add these details. Now I'm going to clean my brush. Let me fix the lighting. All right, just uh, when I have the sun coming in from this way from my window, it gets really intense and then you can't really see anything and my camera doesn't pick up the change and it's a whole thing and a deal. So we're just going to continue. And now I'm using the, the cadmium yellow and I'm, we're going to do these details. So these seem a little bit too intense, so I am going to clean my brush and pat it down. And I'm just going to diffuse them a little bit, but just kind of like a damp brush. This is not part of the tutorial. I'm just, um, just from my, you know, my eye, just they look a little bit too intense. So I'm just trying to quote unquote fix them. So. They might look good. 
in your guys' uh, scenario, but mine, I like to I like to infuse my my details a little bit more. All right, all right, I think that's good. I think that's good. Then the last detail I'm going to do is add a little bit more um, like stippling to the center of the flower to make it look a little bit more less flat. And I'm going to go ahead, actually, I was gonna use indigo, but I just changed my mind. I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, cadmium red orange which is not part of the tutorial but like this this looks weird and it doesn't quite specify what to do with this top part so i'm just gonna go ahead on and and just stipple some because that's that's kind of what a hibiscus looks like so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that so that is it for the tutorial but i think it would be a great idea to add a little bit of a background. So I'm gonna like fully clean my brush and very carefully just go around the edge and add a little bit of green and it gives it kind of like a really nice abstract background. And I think it looks very cute. I'm actually going to add a little bit of turquoise because I think it would look very pretty. Kind of like as if it was like hibiscus is a very tropical um, flower, so uh, turquoise is a very tropical kind of color in my head. So I think it would look really cute. I love it. Oh, it looks so cute. So we are done with the tutorial. This is how it came out. I think we did a great job. Only three colors. We added a few little extra steps of our own and it just, I think it looks great. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see any other tutorials from this book or any of the other books that I have featured in past tutorials and I will, you know, incorporate them into the list. And so I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.